friends, Miss Jessica here, and we are ready to start circle time. You guys ready? All right, let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do our pledges. We are gonna start with our right hand over our heart, and I want you guys to say it with me, okay? All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, friends. Make your X. We're gonna do our Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life everlasting for all who believe. Great job. Go ahead and make your Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart so that I might not sin against God. Great job, friends. Let's sing our song. Are you ready? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Great job, friends. All right, let's figure out what today's date is. Are you ready? Today is March 19th, 2021. Great job. Let's do it one more time together. Today is March 19th, 2021. Great job. Did you know that tomorrow, March 20th, is officially the first day of spring? I'm so excited. That means that all of the flowers are gonna start blooming, the weather starts to get a little bit nicer and nicer. All the leaves are gonna start coming back on the trees that have fallen off from the fall. Very excited. And it means that baby animals are born and it means that all the insects are born also. We get to study insects in April. And I'm super excited about it, you guys. We get to study earthworms and we are going to study butterflies. I'm so excited. All right, what day is today? Today is Friday, the last day of our school week. That's right, tomorrow is the weekend. Are you guys ready to sing our days of the week song? All right, here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. These are the days of the week. Let's sing it one more time, are you ready? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. These are the days of the week. Good job, friends. All right, we were working on the letter T this week. Let's one last time write a big letter T. Are you guys ready? Remember, we start with a straight line down and then we go up to the top and a straight line across. Now for the lowercase T, we're gonna start halfway straight line down and then halfway across the middle just like that and now we can say goodbye to the letter t because we have a new letter like next week ready goodbye letter t see you later all right we aren't going to do a positional word or an opposite or a rhyme time today because in miss jessica's book i have a special activity to do with it while we do it, okay? Let's work on our syllables. Are you guys ready? All right, what is this first one? It's a cow, cow. All right, let's clap it. Are you ready? Cow, cow. Only one syllable in cow, right? So we don't say it like this, cow, cow, right? It's just cow. Good job. How about this? This is a lemon. Lemon. Ready? Here we go. Lemon. Lemon. Two syllables in lemon. So one syllable in cow and two syllables in lemon. Good job, guys. 
What's our weather going to be like today? Miss Jessica says it's going to be rainy again. We had some rain yesterday. I think it's going to rain again today on Friday. But that's okay because that's just more water for the earth, right? And we can watch it in the water cycle, right? If it rains, where does all that rain go? Well, we saw in our water cycle video, right? It goes down into the earth and then when it's hot, it goes up in the trees and back up into the air as vapor and then it'll rain back down again. Perfect. All right, so just in case it rains a lot, you might need an umbrella, but I don't think it's gonna rain that much. But just in case, it's good to be prepared. All right, friends. We are gonna count one last time to 19 and then we are gonna say goodbye to the number 19. Are you guys ready to help me count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We made it. We made it all the way to 19. And we learned some gumball math, right? 10 plus nine equals 19. We learned that to make 19, you need two 10 frames and you have one whole full one and then almost all of the other one, minus one, right? Great job, friends. All right, let's say bye number 19, ready? Bye number 19, see you later. All right. Oh, and once again, Miss Jessica forgot our poem. I'm gonna have to start hanging it up here so I don't forget, huh? Okay, let's read it. Letter T. T is for 10 tiny turtles. T is for tigers in the woods. T is for tennis shoes and trash and cuddly teddy bears. All right, are you guys ready to find all the letter T's? Letter, I see two right there in letter. And then T, our uppercase and our lowercase. T, is for 10 tiny turtle. Turtle has two, oops, turtle has two T's in it. T is for tigers in the, the starts with the letter T, woods. T is for tennis shoes and trash and cuddly teddy bears and the letter uppercase and lowercase t. All right, are you guys ready to help me count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow, it was almost to our number of the week. 18 letter T's in our letter T poem. All right, so for our positional words today, do you guys remember what positional words are? They tell where something is, right? I have up in the garden and down in the dirt. So I really like this book because it's springtime and we get to see a lot of activity. There's a lot of things happening outside with the things growing, the bugs, all of it. And this book gives us a really good glimpse into what's happening above the dirt and down in down the dirt. So anytime you guys hear the word up, I want you to say up and throw your hands up. And anytime you hear the word down, I want you to say down and touch the ground, okay? Now, Miss Jessica's not going to do it because I have to read the book, but I want you guys to do it, okay? Here we go. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. My hands full of seed 
and my head's full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty arm, rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in planted suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl. The honeybees visit legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laughed, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Miss Jessica doesn't like that page. Up in the garden, the wind, the wind growls cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight 
into the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup and autumn moon is rising, up in the garden dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time, dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. I really like that book because it takes us all the way from where we're at now, spring, until where we just came from, right? It goes around in a big circle. Spring, and then summer, and then fall, and then winter, and then back to spring again. All right, friends, I hope you had fun at circle time. I'll see you guys later. Bye.